In Mario Odyssey, Mario can change his outfits, but the clothes don't actually do anything. Today, we'll give costumes special powers to unlock a whole new way to play. The aviator suit is designed for people who can fly, so why not give Mario that power? Just like a plane, Mario needs to build up super speed to take off from the ground. Once he jumps, he can soar as high as he wants and move in any direction. All he needs to do to start coming down is to throw Cappy for a slow descent or ground pound for a quicker drop. With this suit, Mario can take down baddies from above or nab hard to reach moons that are oh so yummy. He can also turn on the hover mode to zoom around horizontally without accidentally flying into the sun. This trick lets him scope out the whole arena and find his next move, or just to spot little details that usually go unnoticed. And get this, Mario can zoom through all of these background buildings and even Bowser's ship. Look out, Nintendo. We're coming for your secrets. Usually sailors steer boats through the water, but seeing as there are no boats in this game, I turn Mario into one. The sailor suit gives Mario the ability to run on water without falling in. He just needs to press up on the D-pad before hitting the water to defy physics for a short period. After about five seconds, the power goes on cooldown and he'll fall in like a regular old swimmer. Then I thought, why stop at water? I also gave the suit the extra power to run on top of lava and poison too. Now Mario can check out all the sites without needing to capture any pesky enemies, or he can just shortcut through the annoying parts of a level. Just be careful not to activate it at the wrong time, or he'll end up taking a dip in the deadly grape jelly. Since Mario Odyssey has been out for many years at this point, you might not think there's much more to explore. Think again. With the Explorer suit, Mario can unlock alternate versions of kingdoms to keep things fresh. The Explorer suit is like a magic key that unlocks all sorts of new challenges and moons for Mario to conquer. He can find different colored atmospheres or unique obstacles that add an extra layer of difficulty. Imagine swimming in a lake only to find bubbling lava right below the surface. Talk about a spicy surprise. The suit can summon enemies to different kingdoms than usual. It's like a surprise party where you never know who's going to show up. But the best part? The Explorer suit also unlocks new challenges and moons to keep Mario sharp after battling a giant crusty turtle for so long. Next up, the trusty invisibility cap. In the standard version of Mario Odyssey, this cap makes Mario disappear, but leaves his shadow behind. Enemies can still see Mario and interact with him like normal, so it's not super useful if you ask me. My version, on the other hand, actually makes Mario invisible to enemies. If he stays quiet and doesn't attack them, they won't even notice him. Mario can enter stealth mission mode to sneak through a tough course without triggering any baddies. These ground attackers don't even appear when he has his new invisible power. Enemies that aren't programmed to detect invisible Mario just look ridiculous. Like they're going about their business completely unaware that Mario is standing right next to them. Of course, I still wasn't done yet. I gave the cap an activatable power to walk through walls. If Mario spins on the ground in front of a wall, he gains the temporary power to walk right through it. Now Mario will never lose a game of hide and seek again. Everyone knows that Mario eats coins to prevent him from aging, so I designed the gold Mario suit to help him capture as much sweet, sweet gold as possible. Blocks now have the maximum amount of coins inside of them, instead of finding a sad single coin sometimes. This suit has the power to turn every coin into a coin ring in the entire game as well. The rings give Mario three coins at a time instead of one to triple his food supply and keep him young forever. Mario can also become richer faster by finding more custom rooms made of pure gold hidden throughout the game. There's even a small chance that every time he enters a pipe, the whole zone will be filled with savory coin rings ripe for the taking. Swimming in video games can be pretty awful, but fear not. With the new swimwear outfit, Mario can now explore underwater with ease. He's got infinite breath, so he can stay underwater for as long as he wants. No more frantic searching for air bubbles or rushing to the surface. Mario can now go way deeper than before without captures, and he can find cool stuff. He can also talk to special NPCs underwater only when he wears this outfit. Because I can't help myself, I also gave this costume the ability to control the water level of any body of water. He can raise or lower it to customize his gameplay experience, or just to mess with all the unsuspecting land enemies. I love the concept of the Builder power-up in Mario Maker 2, so I wanted to use it as inspiration for the Builder costume in Mario Odyssey. I made it so Mario can make blocks that are red with the letter M on them, with a major difference being that these blocks can't move around once they're placed, and they're way more sturdy. Nothing can break these bad boys, not even Mario himself. Mario can only place up to five blocks per level by crouching and pressing up on the D-pad. By creating strategic blocks, Mario can reach new areas by giving himself more height or add some distance to make jumps easier. 
As an additional perk, Mario has one more option. Instead of making five small blocks, he can instead make one huge block per level. These can be great as cover against incoming projectiles or just as an advertisement for Mario's plumbing services. Mario Odyssey is a good looking game, but it feels like something is missing. With the painter outfit, you can now truly make the game look like a work of art. Increase the game's graphics by running into an object and boom, now it looks breathtaking. Warp to any checkpoint to instantly paint it with this beautiful image promoting the Super Mario movie. Break boxes to switch them with custom Luigi painted masterpieces. Brick blocks can now be customized when they're smashed with Mario's creative brain. Mario can even capture enemies while in his painter outfit and shake the controller to paint them into alternative art. Mario's epic journey takes him to the moon in Mario Odyssey, but now I want to bring the moon back to him. The spacesuit allows Mario to change the gravity of every area he goes into. The moon gravity is now permanently enabled. The floatier feeling gives Mario more control when falling. He has more options for exploring kingdoms and getting to hard to reach places. All those tough jumps become simple and some previously impossible jumps become possible with extra height and distance. So let's say you really want access to these awesome costumes, but you are poor. No problem. If you can find the hidden employee uniform, you can get a delicious discount at every shop in the game. Now when Mario goes to the shop, all costume pieces only cost a single coin to purchase. Although this outfit would be a rare one to find, it would be extremely worth it if Mario's strapped for cash. In a perfect world, the employee uniform could even allow Mario to sell custom items to his friends online. Now the only question is, how much should we sell this poster for? Vehicles in Mario Odyssey are, uh, cute, I guess? With the mechanic suit, Mario will gain the ability to upgrade them into something way more awesome. He can beef up this dinky moped into Wario's motorcycle. This ride gets a slight speed buff and way better handling. Jaxies are also improved here and they're replaced by a cart. The cart's huge hitbox lets Mario destroy more items as he passes through them. He can also drive over liquids like lava, water, and poison. Who needs friends when you've got yourself? With the scientist outfit, Mario gets a clone to team up with. The player now controls two identical Marios that share a health bar and do everything based off of one controller. If scientist Mario can master moving for two, he can line the clones up to fight and defeat multiple enemies at the same time. While this ability is obviously inspired by the Double Cherry power-up in Super Mario 3D World, our version adds so much more challenge. If you lose either clone, they don't just disappear leaving you with one Mario. Nope. If you lose either clone, the game acts like they both die. Regular Mario and Imposter Mario can both capture enemies, but only one of the scientists can be in control of a captured enemy at a time. This makes things way trickier as Mario and the capture have a different moveset, but are managed through the same controller. Some areas make it really difficult to keep the clones together and to see what each one is doing. Mario can run right through the clone even if one has a possession of a capture. Because of the way the abilities work, boss fights can be really tough like this Bowser fight. Holding the hat slows one Mario down and forces the clones to desynchronize from each other. To see Mario face off against custom bosses, click on the video on screen right now. A huge thank you to the people who created some of the mods shown in this video. Credit is in the video description below. Please subscribe so Nintendo will hire me. I'm Aristotle and thanks for watching.